In this tutorial we're going to look at importing objects. So I have downloaded a few objects from the website archive3d.net. Uh, it's all free and so I'll go ahead and import those now that I've downloaded them. If I go to file import import um, I can then browse and find the folder that I've saved these in. Make sure you unzip them as you download them. They're going to be compressed files so you have to right click and unzip them or extract all and that'll bring out the files so you can use them. Um, I have these three 3DS Studio models, so I'm going to select the first one, which is a compressor. Say open. Um, I already have my scene set up, so I don't need to convert my units. Um, you can, it doesn't really matter since we're not working to scale, but uh, make sure you check or deselect that if you don't want it. Say OK. We're not doing an animation, so you can just say no. Um, and then that brings in the geometry. You can see that this geometry is made up of a bunch of different pieces. Um, so for now, because I know I'm going to import other geometry, I'll come over here to my layer menu and let's just make sure I'll just create a new layer. I'll call this compressor. And then let's select everything that's in this layer and then we can drag it into our compressor layer. And actually I can just right click. That was from a previous thing. So let's right click and delete that layer. So now everything is in my compressor layer. The other thing you can do just to keep things sort of organized is group. So I can select all these objects, group them, and I'll just group them into what I'll call a compressor group. Uh, and that'll just allow me to select it as a group instead of each individual thing. Okay, so let's go ahead and maybe before we import the next geometry, I'll go ahead and create a new layer. Uh, we can change the name of that layer but let's, later, but let's make sure it's selected uh, as the current layer so that everything that's imported comes into that layer. So I'll go to File, Import, Import, and then let's select this Decor Owl. OK, OK. Again, we don't need, we're not doing an animation. Sometimes you'll uh, import an object that has a, a name that's already in the scene. So you can just say Rename All and it will automatically rename them and then import those geometries. You can see the scale is a little bit different, so maybe I will, uh, let's first uh, look at this and then we can change the scale later, but I'm gonna right click here and we can rename that layer. I'll call this Owl. And now that I have these on separate layers, I can always turn on and off these things. So I'll go ahead and group this one as well. Select everything, group, we'll just call this Owl, enter. Um, and then let's turn on our compressor. So I'm going to go ahead and scale the owl up and I just want these to be roughly the same size. Let's just go ahead and uh, rotate that a little bit, move it over to the side. All right, so I have my owl. Now let's go ahead and create a new layer and we'll see we'll go ahead and import our final object this hinge okay and then we'll rename this layer oops accidentally uh, turned on my animation there so let's rename this layer right click rename hinge and then let's turn off these other two group this hinge enter let's turn those back on you can see my hinge is uh, quite large so I'm going to scale this down so it's uh, closer to the other geometries. Oh, maybe my hinge is actually quite small. So let me go ahead and turn those off. Got to find it somewhere in our scene. So, by the way, if you don't have an object selected and you hit Z, it'll zoom to everything. So it looks like my hinge must be located somewhere out here. Oh, maybe it is still over there. Let's see. Well, so one thing you can always do is if you hit move, yeah, there's my hinge. It's way over there. So one thing that's useful is to select your object and then just move it back to the center of your scene. So if I select over here, zero, 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 
you can see it was built way off in space and so sometimes that'll happen when you import geometries so if you zero it all out it'll move it right back into the center of your scene and now I'd scaled it so far down I need to scale it back up and so I'll just hit my scale tool again and move it up you can also just type in here like I could scale it you know 20 times maybe 50 times maybe 300 times and just keep scaling it until it's at a size that that you want for this particular project and then again I'll just go ahead and rotate this thing rotate into different angles um, and let's go ahead and move it great so I have my three objects uh, kit bash together and that'll be the first uh, part of this project and so one thing that's useful by um, keeping things in layers and groups is that you have you can always turn things on and off so for example let's go ahead and turn off our edged faces so we can see this a little bit better uh, but if I turn these off I have just my hinge and then if I want to work on this hinge because I've grouped it I can always open the group and that'll allow me to select each of these different elements individually you can see it kind of creates these open brackets around the geometry and so I can then you know modify these I can even move you know I can select just this one and move just that piece for example if I wanted to um, and then when I'm done I can go back to group and I can say close and it will close it back into the group so that's a really good way to stay organized as you're working on these geometries